this is my little friend if you didn't know I've got a tortoise and he won't stop wriggling this is Otto he's just so cute Bye. bye bye hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Shannon if you're new here hello thanks for joining nice to see you here don't forget to subscribe if you're not already come and join our slowly but surely growing family <laughs> In today's video, I'm back again with another makeup video. I know, I haven't done them in like so long and now I've got one after another. But before I get into today's video, I just want to give a quick, big, big shout out to Ava. Ava, if you're watching, hi. Ava came in to meet me the other day and it was just the cutest thing ever. So I basically met one of my first subscribers. She was so lovely. She was beautiful. She's so cute. And I just want to say a big shout out to Ava. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being the best little person in the world. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this video. I'm going to be doing a full face of drugstore, but it's not like a full glam drugstore. I'm just going to be doing kind of an everyday makeup routine, but with just drugstore products. Because not everybody wants to be splashing out on all these expensive makeup brands. Like, personally, I don't really. I used to be, like, just buying, like, expensive makeup, but then I've come, came to realise that sometimes drugstore is just as good, so... I've been diving back into the drugstore again recently. So that is what we're going to be doing today. If you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more from me because it really, really does help me out a lot. And other than that, let's just get started. Again, I don't have one of those mirrors that stands up, so I'm going to be using this little one. So if I look down here a lot, you know why. The first thing I'm going to do is just moisturise my lips. I literally live and breathe for Carmex. If you don't know about Carmex, it's better than Vaseline, better than any other lip balm I've ever used. So I'm going to pop some of that on. Next we're going to be moving on to primer and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I don't always use primer but when I put foundation on I do because like I've said before I've got combination skin. So I feel like a primer kind of stops it from being dry but then at the same time stops the oiliness getting through. I don't know. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. But when my skin's really dry like it is right now. I do like to use a primer just for that extra bit of moisture. Oh, Otto's gone to eat some dinner. I feel like this just helps the foundation to go on a lot smoother. And because my skin is dry, like I've said, it gives it a bit more moisture. Okay, so next we're moving on to foundation and I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This is in the shade. What shade are you? Golden Beige. I feel like it comes out quite light for golden beige, but we're going to be using this and my beauty blender. Just going to do a couple of pumps on the back of my hand, dip my beauty blender into it, and then just start to blend all over my face. This foundation isn't the thickest, like it's quite thin, but I still feel like you get a decent coverage for the consistency of it. But the fact that it's quite thin and runny means that it also doesn't cake, so you get the best of both worlds. You get some sort of coverage and it doesn't look hecky. But as you can see, it has evened out my skin tone and covered quite a lot of the spots that I had. Maybe not this one here, because that one's not brand, a brand new spot. <laughs> but all the rest, gone. The next step is concealer, and I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer Concealer. Every time I say that, I get a bit like, does that make sense? But yeah, again, I used this in my last makeup video. It's a yellow toned, very full coverage, and we're just gonna use that to Brighten up underneath my eyes because your girl is tired. <laughs> I'm very tired, so the bags under my eyes are a bit extreme. So I was going to pop this in all the sections I normally would, and then I've also got a spot. So I'm going to pop that on the spot there too. And then just use my beauty blender to blend it all in. I just feel like because they're not like the same brand, so it's L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and Concealer, I just feel like they were so much better together than if you were to do, use them with say a different foundation or a different concealer. My skin looks so smooth, so flawless basically and I do not have flawless skin so this is doing a lot for me. Next we're going to powder and as always using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm just going to pop that underneath my eyes, down my nose, on my forehead and then a little bit on my chin just to kind of stop the oiliness because it's not a matte foundation so it is quite shiny and glowy but when you're an oily yow 
that's not what you want. Okay, so now we're moving on to bronzer and highlight. And the palette I'm using is from I Heart Revolution. This is the Bronze and Glow palette. Does this not look like the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes? I see what you did there, Revolution. I see what you did there. Does it smell like chocolate? I've never actually smelled it. No, it smells like paint. <laughs> Disappointing or what? Dipping into the bronzer on this side and I'm just gonna bronze. This is quite a warm toned, no it's not. It's not warm toned, that was a lie. This is quite a cool toned bronzer to what I'd usually use. But we're gonna give it a go anyway. See how we feel about it. I see you. I see you bronzer. And of course we're gonna bronze the forehead to give it the illusion that it's smaller because I need my forehead to look smaller because my forehead is just a 10 oh, a ten head and it's just not a good look down my jaw and then a little bit on my nose as always I feel like on me I do definitely prefer a warmer bronzer but I just wanted to use something different today it looks really patchy on the camera what is that patch? <laughs> so bronzer's on looking bronze, we're not looking flat anymore and now it's time to move on to the best part of every makeup routine. And that is the highlight. And we're just gonna take the highlight from the same palette. It's like a champagne gold highlight. I'm just gonna dip it in with a Real Techniques brush. And then, moment of truth. Are we ready? Ready? Steady? Go. You know when you use something and you just think, why have I ever spent £26 on a MAC highlighter on its own? And you can get stuff like this from literally Superdrug and it's less than half the price. Can't. Can't get over it. <laughs> if you don't think that highlighter is the best part of any makeup routine, I'm just going to tell you now, you're wrong. You are. You're just wrong. Wow. I'm so impressed by this highlighter and it's literally less than half the price of what I paid for the one that I've, I use all the time. Well done. Well done. Okay, so again, I used this in my last video, but it's that good that I'm just going to use it again and it is from the drugstore. So, this is the Revolution Pro eyebrow pencil. It's got the micro blading effect one. It's really skinny. Got the brush on one end, product on the other end. I'm just going to use this to do my eyebrows. I'm just going to skip through this bit because everybody knows. Everyone's got their own way of doing eyebrows. So there's not really any point in showing you how I do mine. If you want to see how I do mine, watch my last video. I will link it down below if you want to see that. But for now, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'll be right back. I literally cannot get over this highlight. I feel like my eyebrows need doing that badly that they're at the stage where even from far away, they don't look okay. <gasps> Wow. Let's never pretend that they do look okay. Some sort of okay. We're gonna move on. Now I'm taking this brow gel. This isn't technically from a drugstore, but it's from Primark, so it is cheap. But you can get any clear brow gels from drugstores. So I'm just gonna pop some of this on to try and help my eyebrows look a little bit better because they're looking a bit tragic. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I've ever left them this long. I need to sort my life out. I'm not going to get too close, but that would do. The new trend now, I'm not sure if you've seen, but having laminated brows, kind of want to try it. It's like, basically, they have your eyebrows and they flatten them upwards, but into a nice shape. So I kind of want to try it. If you've had your brows laminated, let me know. Let me know how it went. I literally have no idea how it works or what they do, but I just know that it looks really good, so... Might give that a go. So now we're going to be moving on to eyes and I have the Revolution Pro Eyeshadow Palette. This is giving me the... Vi no, not Victoria. Who's Victoria? What's her name? Anastasia. There we go. <laughs> this is giving me modern renaissance vibes. It's literally got all the exact same colour. Not exact same, but this similar colours to what's in that palette. And again, this is literally a, a quarter of the price of the modern renaissance palette. And it has all these shades in there. Today we're just going to go for the everyday makeup look. So we're just going to go for something like neutral, browns, that kind of vibe. If you wanted to keep it really simple, you could just pop some of that bronzer through your crease and then you're good to go. But I just wanted to use an eyeshadow palette today. So I'm going to dip into 
this shade here, which is called Confront. It's like a neutral, beigey brown. And then just take that straight through the crease. Not very neatly, we just want this to kind of, just so there's a little bit of colour there, we don't want anything too. I'm going to dip into Conceited, which is just like a little bit of a darker brown, which is down here. And just go over exactly where we did with the other one. These eyeshadows are actually so pigmented, I didn't really expect, like you wouldn't really expect cheaper eyeshadows to have the pigment that these do. Not bad, and there's no fallout either. Yay for drugstore! When certain makeup products perform like this, it just makes you wonder why you ever decided you wanted to spend £40 on a palette when you could spend literally less than 10 on this one. And I'm going to take Conceited again on the same brush and just take that underneath my eyes, just to balance out the top and the bottom. This brand matches my jumper, I've just realised. Cute. And I'm just going to leave it at that for the eyes because it is just a simple everyday look. But I'm going to take some more of the highlight. Where's it gone? And just dab that in the inner corner just to give it a little bit of a glow there. I'm just going to use this Juvia's Place small definer brush. It's like a little flat concealer brush. Just to take some of that and pop it in there. So the final step for the eyes, we're going to take the Rimmel London Scandalise Reloaded Mascara and just pop a couple of layers of that on. And I'm going to do it on top and bottom lashes. I just feel like having that extra bottom lashes just gives it a bit more something, something. Give you a little zoom. Ignore my eyebrows, that really need doing. Oh, I feel like zooming straight back out. But these are the eyes, so it's just like a warm brown running through them. And underneath, nice little glow on the inner corner. And then top and bottom lash mascara. So the final step, just to top off the whole look, is lip gloss. I'm not going to do lip liner or anything just because it is every day. So I'm going to be using the Barry M Lip Plumper in the shade Bougie. This makes your lips tingle when you put it on. It's just like a nudey, corally, pinky brown. All the colours of the rainbow <laughs> kind of colour. So I'm just going to pop some of that on just to finish it all off. This is the finished look. It's just kind of naturally basic everyday makeup routine. Obviously, I don't wear this much makeup every day because I go to work. Who's got the time in the morning to sit and do this? Not me. So, <laughs> bronzy, glowy, basic, everyday makeup. <laughs> Honestly, this highlight, I don't think I'm ever going to get over it. Love it. And then we've got the glossy lip just to tie in with the glowy face. And the bronzer to time with the eyes and it's just a nice warm everyday makeup look so that is the end of my full face of drugstore everyday makeup routine if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below for more from me let me know any other video ideas that you've got that you want me to do and i will definitely do them i really do enjoy filming makeup videos now i went through a stage where i was kind of not bored of it but had no motivation to do it but if you want to see something more like out there and extravagant, let me know because I will do that as well. Thanks, Thanks for watching, watching and I'll see you in my next video. video.